Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. This is my little 10-minute window to the rest of the world. I'm on my way to Drew's house. And uh, we're going to head out and try to find a costume for me. This is being October 2nd. It is time to get serious about trying to find a costume. And we are on our way to hit them all. Here we are at Drew's. One moment. Okay. Yes. Hopefully we'll be able to, uh, hopefully we'll be able to escape and we get out. And we'll go do some uh, shopping. i got to pick up a Halloween costume. I don't know. This year has been a bit rough. I think I hear him. <gasps> Have you done the spring cleaning yet? Are you changing diapers again? I may need to borrow that. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Oh, thank you very much, sir. You rock. Hey, man, I do my thing. Now, of course, when I'm doing Lou, which is a very special thing I do every year, yes, I got some really cool shoes for him. I was in the same okay, store. I was gonna say last year you, you had almost everything. You had everything. You had a new vest and everything, but you didn't have shoes. Yeah, I didn't have the red shoes. I wish I had fine these. Finally, look at these. Dude, I like like a pattern. That's craziness. Yeah, it, it these are these are like Italian made shoes. Look at these things. Dude. They are evil looking. They, I mean, <laughs> this no. Drew still got his um yeah, his I, fancy. Yeah, this right. is Miss October right here. From the Man Town. Whoops, what's sorry about that? From the Man Town calendar. Yeah. And uh, literally I stood next to these two hot looking beautiful blondes and the next thing I know, everybody I don't whips. think I don't think they're real blondes, well, so Whatever. There was, a lot of real, there was a lot of real stuff there, but no, not the hair color. <laughs> the important thing is they're in this calendar. And <laughs> everybody whips out their cell phones. Anyways. We're off. Yes, we're off to find me a costume. Now, yes. to be all official about this, the idea of costume wearing goes back way back to the days of the Celtics. Farmers who locked up the front door. To New England farmers and stuff like this. But back then, it wasn't really like costumes, like character costumes. Like, they didn't have plastic Ninja Turtle costumes or any crap like that. What they meant by costumes was fancy gear. And of course, Halloween was the time of year when the invisible veil lifted between worlds and you could visit past loved ones and uh, just reunite with um, family who had passed on. It was a very uh, superstitious bunch of people. Mm -hmm. But now we've turned it into with a custom of costume, as in costume, as in character. That's more of a 19th century deal. So. We're gonna hopefully. I've tried a couple of local stores, and I really haven't. I've been finding a whole lot of. There's a whole lot of stuff out there for women. You know, there's a whole bunch of sexy outfits. Everybody and their grandmother can like wear something really sexy or hot. Oh gosh, yes. But it's more difficult for a guy to find something interesting. I mean, like the worst thing is a couple's costumes. There's some terrible stuff. Like oh, there's some bad costume. Co the, couple costumes out the, there. The plug and outlet. Seriously, has you ever been to a party where a couple wore that? No. no. There's certain seasonal stores that I've been visiting, and uh, I party, for example, is I not really a seasonal store, but their Halloween stuff is seasonal. I've been there, I've been to a uh, spirit, and I'm uh, just hopefully trying to find something. I found plenty of stuff for the missus, but nothing for the mister. We're off to get gas, and we're on our way. To get <laughs> gas. Is your costume a secret this year? Hmm. I have thought of a few ideas. I don't think it's really going to be a secret. Cause let, let me ask. Watch. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me ask you something. Are you doing a couple thing? No. With Amy? Are Absolutely you, not. Is she even coming? Uh, hopefully. Oh, I'm going to be there. We're going to go to the Halloween outlet. This is actually a year-round Halloween store. That's actually probably has good hours now because it's tis the season. It's October third. Mm-hmm. To 2011. I know. And it is a good time to be a Halloween shopper. Yes, of course, I'm, I'm sure that we're going to just end up finding a bunch of uh, hot lady outfits again. Probably the worst costume in the world you can possibly get for yourself is a couple's costume. Because first of all, it doesn't work unless you have the other side. 
all, it's not even just the and couple's costumes, it's like all the male costumes well, or something stupid. Well, like the genie in the lamp with the lamp right here. See, here's you the know, thing. And it says rub me with the crotch. Okay, we I get know, it. You I know. know. But here's the thing about couple costumes that I would just like to point out. One, it doesn't work, especially if your wife hates the couple's costume. And Usually it's the wife's Here comes the emergency response team. Is it plug an outlet? Seriously, I mean, salt and pepper, the hot dog in the bun. Come on, people. Not plug in the bun. Well, then there's the horse. I did see one couple's yeah, but, but, costume. Yeah, but the horse at least makes sense. At least it's collectively something half interesting when it's together. I did see one where it was like a cowgirl and a cow. And the guy was the cow. I know it's terrible, but at least you can separate, and it'll make some sense. Most cats are female. It's utterly ridiculous. So you're gonna go um, traditional, and not going like yeah. like a character. I, I mean, costume, done a costumes often fall in like two major groups: mm -hmm. pop culture or the classic. Classic is like a undescribed character, like um, a mad scientist, oh, a, a, a cowgirl, a cowboy. A uh, football player. Costumes of pop culture are like something that's attached to a movie or a TV show or something like that. So therein lies the thing. Um, you know, I'm looking for something to wear potentially just, I don't freaking well, know it, for a kid's party. My wife's being a ladybug. Well, it's a sexy ladybug kind of thing. You know, yeah. It'll look cute there with the kids. Kids aren't going to get the innuendo. Yeah, kids aren't going to know that stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to wear the Boom Master costume for that because they're haunted house this year. This is the scariest freaking thing that you're ever going to see at a kid's party. Now, the other thing you got to consider in any Halloween costume is there's two different types of costumes in my view. There are the store-bought costumes that are really cheaply made from China with really bad fabric. And then there are the ones that, yeah. I know, basically they're like, they cost like $5 to make, but they charge like $40 for like uh, a cheap jumpsuit with an inflatable backpack and suddenly you're a Ghostbuster. You know? Inflatable backpack, seriously? Really? I know. I mean, really, you're gonna have Did that? Did you see the, the sexy female Ghostbuster one though? Oh my god. That's freaking hot. My point being this. That when you see costumes that are store bought, you can tell what they are. But if you actually see somebody who actually puts the time and effort to actually putting a costume together with like a real lab coat and a real rebreather mask and a real ID tag and a crazy wig and they better buy everything separately and they get real makeup appliances and they put them on themselves. It does it does lend itself to looking a whole lot better. Yeah. So it, it brings people into the character, and that's why like when you see like me as Lucifer. Perfect Don't tell example. him it's you. Oh, well, I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to say who when you, it when you, is. When you see Lou. When you see Lou, you know who it is. And not only no that. No kidding. If you, bought, if you took a look at the store-bought Ghostbuster costume, and then the New England, New England chapter, well, the chapter, New Hampshire chapter yeah. where they make their own proton packs and drive around in a PT cruise with the Ghostbuster logo on the side, which one are you going to want to get a picture of? Yeah. I'm about, I'm about, you know, I'm about the showmanship of it. Making all. Halloween something special for everybody to enjoy. That light was, that light was yellow. It really was. Yeah, it was. It was orange. But I haven't been to this place. I haven't been where we're going in whew, a really long time. Yeah, it has been a long time. So uh, I'm excited because it's always close. They have terrible hours and they always coincide with my working hours. And every time I hang out with him, this place is never open. We'll, we'll get from the pumpkin spice. It's right there. I'm on the way. <laughs> Two weeks. Two weeks away? Two weeks. No. The 15th? Yeah. Rock and shock. 14th okay. through the 16th. Not not this weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. Dude, don't freaking do that to me. <laughs> it's a busy time of year for me. <laughs> I've got a lot going on. Here we are, folks. The Halloween outlet. Where they sell fright. Right. All right, let's check it out. Yes, this is the Halloween outlet. It is a pretty good place. It is, it is probably the place to go to in Worcester. 